Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Chen and this is my email ID. Uh, in previous tutorial, we understood how ser domain separation works in ServiceNow, how can we set up it and uh, how we can do the branding. In this tutorial 4, we will understand how domain separation supports for the scripts and the business rules. So let's have a look uh, what all scripts and business rules or you know, any other uh, menus are supported by the service now domain separation now uh, when i say business rule so yes it is supported client script supported ui policy supported ui action is also supported but when we talk about the ui scripts those are global those are not domain separated so they don't support the domain separation A script include it also doesn't support the domain separation process flow formatters so we have the process flow formatters in change right so those are also not supported workflows are supported by domain separations so let's have a look on in service now how can we identify whether it's supported or not we need to just go to the list view of that uh, module and uh, uh, click on this gear icon to personalize the list if we see the domain exist in this table it means this is supported by the domain so I'm adding here the domain and uh, uh, everything is driven now from the global domain. So I can see uh, global here. If I create or make an entry of the incident in specific domains, then I should be able to see the specific domain name here. So we'll uh, uh, go through in our next tutorial to see how the form layouts can be changed, how uh, the data can be inserted in different different domains. Okay. So uh, let's have uh, the business rules and scripts we talk about. <clears throat> so again, going to the gear icon, checking if domain exists. So say yes, it exists. Let's add it here. <clears throat> okay. So uh, how it will be created in the different domain? So let's say we need to we need to create one business rule specific to the domain ABC. Then what we need to do first, we need to select that specific domain. So select the specific domain in this drop down. Now, if I make any change to this domain separated supporting uh, business rules or client scripts, then I will have an override entry in this specific domain. So, uh, for example, we have one uh, business rule incident auto close. So, if we open this incident auto close and make any changes in this business rule, so say I don't want my incident to be auto closed specific to this ABC environment, I will close it manually. So, I can make it inactive and right click and save. So, you would be able to see an override entry for this business rule is created in this domain okay now let's go back to the list view and see how it's visible over there so let's find out incident okay so you can see uh, incident auto closed is set as false now uh, in the same view let's change it to the parent so here you can see incident auto close is still true because it's true for this domain but it's not true for abc domain right similarly uh, if we want to change any client scripts then uh, it works in similar way so any change if we make in the specific domain will be reflecting to that domain only but we need to ensure we are selecting the correct domain before we make any change to it okay so uh, let's make uh, let's make one client scripts also inactive it's already inactive okay so if i want to make uh, uh, this remove priority one active for the abc uh, domain i can make it active if we want uh, some settings to be inherited from the global then we need to select the global domain on this top header and then we need to make the changes and then it will automatically reflect to all domains so i just made it active 
for this specific domain and i can see we have an override entry for this domain okay so uh, that's how we can uh, make the domain specific entries so one thing you can also notice uh, let me select the domain here you can see the domain of this is selected as abc which is true which is active here okay if i select some different domain then we will be able to see the domain is still uh, be the global one okay remove priority one is false here another domain and it's in global it's inherited from global so uh, in presentation we saw like it's not working for ui scripts or the script include okay so let's have a look so if i click on this gear icon if it doesn't support it by the domain separation i should not be able to see the uh, domain in the list okay so you can note here i cannot see the domain here it means it's not supported by the domain separation so if i make any changes to any of the script include it will be global so i might need to put some specific conditions uh, to be running for the specific domains so thank you so much